hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl elechi cynthia a youtuber based in enugu state guys if this is your first time here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome if you want to see how i got my bride ready for a big day keep on watching so i started off with cleansing her face with my wipes first then i went over with my my uh, my slay water cleanser from adventure to you know cleanse her face too so guys this is my routine i first of all cleanse with my wipes before going over with my with my slay water cleanser after that you still see the dirt that will still come out from her face guys you need to do this <coughs> so you don't work on the dirty skin if you work on the dirty skin it won't the products would not absorb in well you get so that's me going over with my moisturizer from ms Metic. um cosmetics yeah bomb to moisturize her face guys whenever you want to do makeup on any client model or bride guys moisturizing the person's face is very very important guys the face needs to be hydrated you know the face needs to be very very hydrated so after that i went over with my mirror skin prep to you know block sweat and control oil on her face yeah and after that guys i'll be going over with my moisturizer sorry i'll be going over with my primer remember primer is a matte primer actually my client have, has an oily skin guys so i used a matte <coughs> primer for her so guys she wore this makeup from morning like i said her makeup as early as as early as 6 a.m and guys she wore the makeup throughout the day for her child and it did not move i didn't even touch up it didn't move guys so going over with my foundation from motique from that to shade i'll be dropping that on my description um, box so guys i went over with the dark shade to run over the forehead i just tried doing my contour and highlight starting from the foundation guys so i use the dark shade to you know apply on the forehead her cheek her cheek area then I went over with the lightest shade to you know i went about the lightest shade on her forehead her under eye and the rest of the face guys so that's me blending it in so guys this is my bread from last two weeks guys i've been super super busy guys i've made this video last two weeks and i have not been able to know a date and post guys because i've been really working but guys trust me this time i'm trying as much as possible to be consistent i'm trying as much as possible to you know edit and post but god will help me i also want to use this opportunity to you know celebrate every other content creator there other youtubers especially makeup parties that will create from that will create videos from start to finish guys it's not easy after that you still edit and still post guys it's not easy but god is our strength so going over with my my bicham ageless um lip palette i'm going over with that orange shade to you know do her cream contour i'm applying her cream cream contour on her cheek her nose her forehead area actually i use the x-axis to apply on her forehead area then on her nose too they are going over with this zikel foundation in neutral and golden belt i miss them to you know highlight her face so like guys if you've been here on youtube you know that if you've been here on my channel guys you know that i like applying my highlights or concealers with my beauty blender it helps me blending seamlessly it doesn't leave patch lines you get sometimes when you apply your concealer direct guys you get to see that before you even come to blend that area guys it's it will leave patches so to avoid that just go straight to your beauty blender as you're scooping you're applying and blending at the same time guys so guys my bride will be talking throughout this video guys it's a bride it's her day so she's still you know organizing things talking to her girls and all that's me going over with my the foundation shade i used for her i missed it to you know 
contour to do her cream contour and that's me i'm guessing that's from under her eyebrow and i'm forming a v-shape down to the bridge of her nose guys when doing this do it with a fluffy brush blend very well do it gently so you don't make mistake guys so that's me blending as i am applying i'm blending it out immediately with that blending brush guys so after that i went about my beauty blender to so blending so that there won't be any harsh lines so then going over with my powder from Bicham ageless cosmetic i'm going over with the lightest shade to you know highlight her to set the highlighted areas guys then before you say the under eye guys first of all going with your beauty blender blend it again before apply before setting it to avoid creasing so that's me applying her setting her under eye after that do the same at the other at the other part of her under eyes so guys okay that's me trying to you know set i also go over to set all over her face with my powder her powder shade from the same from the same um which i'm ageless planet guys it's raining over here and the save is overshadowing my voice but i hope it doesn't get so bad that's me contouring um you know setting her uh, contoured area with my powder then going over with my mirror setting powder i'll be setting her under eye again then bake and snatch her nose i'm kind of baking but i'm not really baking much here i'm just baking a little bit guys so that's me going over with that setting powder guys man my bride was talking throughout the the, the period i was doing her makeup guys it's not it's not easy doing a bride like getting a bride ready for her day they will be talking so many distractions and all but you have to you know stay focused that's me you know that's me baking her face i snatched her nose and then i'm doing her reverse contour with my powder then i did my eye eyebrows off camera guys i have a video a detailed video on how to draw eyebrows guys if you haven't watched that video go back and watch that video it's very very helpful and it's very it's well detailed so guys that's me applying my um that's me um priming her eye before going about my eyeshadow and i'm using that my sylvia mac eyeshadow but first of all i went in with the, the brown shade in my powder palette to do my to transit before going over with that shade from Sylvia Mac. So guys, I'm going over with that shade, you know, still transiting, you know. So just watch as I achieve this look. It's very very but the video on its own is self-explanatory, but I'll still try as much as possible to, you know explain what i'm doing too so i still went in with that brown shade to deepen the transition that's me you know blending over blending it in guys that's me blending 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 guys blending is the key but in fact everything has to do make up blending is the key so i went over with that um that gold shade is a shimmer um shadow from that same Sylvia palette to you know apply it on her to i use it as a base for the eyeshadow and after that i'll be going over with my blossom um glitters liner i actually use this as my pigment guys that blossom primer i i actually do it i use it as in fact whenever you have a product just make use of what you have you know improvise guys that's me going over with the orange shade to you know apply on her her, her brow bone so that's my glitters um liner from blossom and i'm applying it on her lid i'm using that as my pigment guys so that's me applying it over her lids i'm applying it over her lids and 
after that i went in with my i went in with my gel liner to line her face that is when doing when doing this just try as much as much as possible to you know spread it and make sure that it is seated well because it's not it's not a, it's not um pigment or glitter so it is a liner but i used it because i like the effect it actually gives me whenever i use it so this is me lining her eye with my beyond beauty gel liner i'm lining her eye then after that i went over to fix her lashes from chi lashes guys so before before fixing her lashes i still went over with my zara mascara to brush her under eye and to brush her lashes first guys guys when you're applying your makeup the person you notice that the person's lashes that powder has actually spread every other place so you need to use your mascara to you know brush those those off so that when you apply your so that when you apply your when you put your lashes it will not be the under eye will not be looking ashy do you get it to rhyme so again over with this um lip lipstick from Bicham ageless and the other one i've forgotten the name guys it has cleaned but it's a dark red a kind of a dark red like us blood but it's not really that dark i'm using it to you know line her lips first then after that i'll be going over with her with this Bicham ageless in red color to apply it at the middle part and as i'm doing that i am blending it in immediately so still going over with her lips i will go over with this nude shade from bisham ageless too you know at the inner part of the lips and that's me you know that's me blending it i asked her to you know mat once she mats it a bit once she smack her lips a bit, I'll go over and blend the lips. So guys, when doing this, don't do any, don't blend with a harsh brush. Look for a brush that is soft that you can use to blend it. If not, it should drag your lips. You know it's a lip stain. So when doing this, look for a very fluffy, precise brush and use it to line it. That's me applying her lashes, placing her lashes. And after that, I went in with into my eye magic lip palette and i use the white color there to you know for that to lighten the inner part of the lips so going over as you can see when she was marking her lips there is this place under her lips that wasn't well lined so i lined it very well with my with the same shade of lip that's the us blood that i used earlier so guys just watch as i blend the lips as you as, as you're blending you ask her to smack because once she smack it helps you to blend in well then you use your brush to you know do the rest then so i went over to line her waterline with that my beyond beauty gel liner then going over with this zara mascara i'm brushing the lashes to make sure it's merged with the first lash then using the transition the shade i used for her transition i use it to you know apply shadow under the eye there's a difference that really makes in any makeup whenever i do makeup and i don't do this there's this look that it, 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 my my body will tell me that something is missing in this makeup but whenever i apply it, there's this look that it gives like i don't know how to explain it but shall always do it whenever you want to do your makeup i can't miss it since i i started doing it i've never missed it in my makeup so i went over with my setting spray from kiss beauty to set her face you know what with this tm essential cheek glaze i used it on the areas where i blushed you know this balm is is everything and more it has this shimmer in it that makes your clients, your clients make makeup to glow so going over with this tehila palace i went on to highlight her cheek area with this highlight on the tehila palette so that is it for it going over with my zara mask i still went over to you know brush her under eye then went over with my nuban. then i went over with my nuban glow you know 
to highlight on the place where I place my highlighter to make it see glow. That's the work of it. So this is the finished look, guys. My bride looked stunning for her big day. Guys, she wore this makeup from morning to night. I did not shit. Guys, if you've not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe. Turn on the notification bell to get notification whenever I post a new video. Bye.